In Revelation chapter 12, the word of God says, We, the children of the Most High, will overcome the enemy. In fact, we overcome Lucifer by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of our testimony. Even though we are the poor of James 2 5, but the Lord has given us much more than what we don't have. Because even Apostle Peter in Acts chapter 3 says, Silver and gold I may not have. But what I have, I give unto you in the name of Yeshua of Nazareth. Rise and walk. Praise the Lord. The Lord is good. His mercy is in just forever. So very briefly, I just let me show my beautiful beloved face of Jenna beloved with my hair uncovered because the topic I'm going to answer today as I've done the kind of promo as a short video so I said I'm going to answer some critics so there's this woman that was just so annoyed I usually do go to talk to them with the word of God in the way of comments so that you are not talking about them in your channel without telling them. And sometimes, even after making this kind of video, I go back and post it to them as led by the Holy Spirit. So I told let me show my hair because there's this, you know, tendency for those who are foolish virgins, if you want to even think they are believers of any kind, or foolish prostitutes. There's that tendency for them to think they can judge us. And yet they are the ones when you are preaching the truth of holiness, righteousness, and you know, truth to them to follow. They will say, Do not judge. Are you judging me? So they try to use Matthew 7 1 to stop you. And so she was, you know, about all the hype. I'm just summarizing it. That's not exact words. Because I tried to get her YouTube video. I can't even find it. And I'm not even that uh, you know, willing to be wasting my time searching. But she seems to be so annoyed about what's the big deal about this couple. And now I'm beginning to feel that way in another spiritual way. Because when God gives us a gift, the tendency of body flesh is to flaunt it. And you can Expose the gift. This is what the Lord has done. See what the Lord has done. What I've waited for has come to be. See what the Lord has done. In Revelation chapter 12, the word of God says, We, the children of the Most High, will overcome the enemy. In fact, we overcome Lucifer by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of our testimony. Even though we are the poor of James 2 5, but the Lord has given us much more than what we don't have. Because even Apostle Peter in Acts chapter 3 says, Silver and gold I may not have. But what I have, I give unto you in the name of Yeshua of Nazareth. Rise and walk. So they had the authority of the disciples. I've always thought it. You've learned so many things in the church that is under Roman Vatican. That sometimes when the Holy Spirit begins to teach you his own spiritual truth, you will just wonder. And sometimes to communicate with those still in the church mentality, you want to come to their level and use the same church language to speak to them. But it's not right. They should be the ones to come up and learn the spiritual truth of God. It may be like parable to them. But very soon, they will begin to know as they used to do this with that. 
this is not just parabolo. This is spiritual truth hidden for those who truly yield not just to the word of God, but to his Holy Spirit. Because you who carry the Bible only, you don't want the Spirit of God. You don't belong to him, according to Romans 8, 9. Let me tell my five new beautiful stuff that matches with my top. The Lord has been blessing me all through so many wonderful ways. But the lie in me, sometimes I'll just pack the new, new stuff. Some of these are recent. But even up to maybe over a year, there's some stuff that have been new. Even over three years, some, some of the stuff coming to my mind that the Lord has blessed me with. That has to do with clothes, you know. You know, you buy it, you just chuck it under the bed. But as I began to reorganize my home, I began to say, let me even sort these things, put them in place. I've shown clips of it to show that we also will testify. Even literal testimony to show that the Lord has blessed us with his mercy drops. Because the treasures of blessing that God gives you when you go and preach the goodness of salvation, that one, God says, I will keep it for you in heaven. Then, the showers of blessing, the Lord says, is coming to give to every one of us. And we enjoy it in the millennial reign of peace on earth. What are we now showing that? See what the Lord has done. Whether it's new baby, new marriage, new house, new car, new blessing. As long as we are not after that blessing as it was in the world. We are focusing on the kingdom of heaven. How to preach to people to bring them to the kingdom of heaven. And God is just seeing our need. Ah, oh, my daughter needs a car. She needs to move away from this county, go to other counties, and share the word of God there. And that's why everywhere I've been to, even Derby, I went to Derby, one particular place. Come to think of it, I've been to Derby before. When I was in the church, uh, time. But let me wear my scarf. Well, I want to visit my wonder and I thought, oh, even this may be the first time coming there, not remembering that I may have been there in another place in Derby. I make sure I went with my delivery pack to share to people I met on the road. Of course, I drove there, but I packed my car. I walk around a bit just for the purpose of evangelism to give people on the road as well as to post in their door so i'm using some of my new new stuff with what i'm about it's not as if uh, so again, uh, did somebody just bless you with all well one of my wonders blessed me with money but i'm gonna return it my youngest wonder i put the picture there i love you so much do you know the love I have for the children the Lord has given me? Who are called wonders and the children that came in by marriage. Who I know who they are in Christ Yeshua. Yes. As a Leah, I know who the wife of my son is. But let's not go into that. I love them so much differently. And I know who they are in Christ Yeshua. You know, as I was talking about this Moses to you as still mean it. Now my own heart is that, okay, God has given us blessing. You are seeing Moses. Me, I didn't even know him before. I saw his proposal song. As if, if I had known him, I would have rebuked him for singing songs for youth. Thousands of youth now singing that God burst their brain. That's the work of Lucifer Dan. The God that can burst your brain. Is Lucifer down. That's what they are doing, hellfire. Our God says he renews mind. The renewal of mind. You don't want to renew your mind. Eh? Then you will not see anything wrong in busting your brain. And some of these so-called gospel, they are not good news singers. In fact, those who are good news are good news worshippers. These gospel singers, that's why they charge and get money, most of them. God give you a voice to sing. You are charging money for it. 
No. You should allow people to bless you for ministry to them in worship. Because in them, you are bringing the presence of God to receive your worship. Because God dwells in the worship of his people. So as you are worshiping God, people too are worshiping God with you, healing is taking place, all these blessings are taking place, then they come to say thank you. I must thank God in your life for yielding to him and being a worshiper in spirit and in truth. Not in body and flesh. That's why you think something that is very good and add flesh. Bust your brain. Go and repent. Yes. So, as I was saying, it's time to focus on Elijah, the Holy Spirit that is coming. Elijah, the Spirit of the Lord Yeshua. He is the evil God. He is the Holy One of Israel. He is the Lion of Judah. As he comes to our own body flesh timeline, he's represented by his son. Matthew 11, 11, Hebrews 1, 1 to 2. As he put his spirit on his son, John beloved. That he called son himself in John 19, 26. Let's open it as we go. I hope I'll be able to get all these video points together. John 19, John 19, 26. If the Lord calls someone his son, will you say it's not his son? So let's read it. When the Lord Yeshua saw his mother there, and the disciple whom he loved standing by, he said to her, Woman, here is your son. And to the disciple, here is your mother. From that time, the disciple took her into other verses that I should invest in other verses of the Bible say son behold your mother mother behold your son you see how they put it here as if John the beloved is only the son of Mary the woman Mary has become the woman because she's soul and she's body so her soul has been lifted up now she's body the woman so I've shown you there was this girl that um, was not liking the fact that the uh, so-called musician that they made is Nigeria that made you. Uh, you were made as a musician in Nigeria, according to her. Now you are going outside Nigeria to marry. She was angry. I said to her, I left a comment that she better be careful because Miriam spoke against. Moses of the Bible, you know, and if you want to understand, as I said, this Moses is the fallen mind of the true Moses of the Bible, so they are not the same, yet different and connected. Because whenever a called child of God that should yield to God. Walks in the flesh. David walked in the flesh. God was not with him there. So it's going to manifest in this body flesh timeline. For going after somebody else's wife. There was a time that Moses struck the rock within the mountain twice. He struck the mountain twice, waking up the rock within the mountain. Because the rock has to do with flesh, body flesh time. The mountain people are the spirit body time. That's why mountain the place where angels have been before. So people like to go to the mountain, but now God has said it. It's not all those physical places in alone. It is you that will carry the presence of God if you have God. So the Lord says in John 4, 24, they that must worship me must worship me in spirit and in truth. It's you that should be a good news worshiper. So that wherever you go and worship God, the presence of God indwells your praises and your worship. And those around will benefit 
um, they can come back and say, thank you for being a blessing, Sister Junet. And if the Lord says collect, you collect. If the Lord says collect and give to that sister, in it, you collect and give to the sister. If the Lord says no, don't collect from her. It's not pleasing to me. It's not really pleasing to me. Because they may be in church and be in occultism. They say no, the Holy Spirit does not want me to collect. So you can be a blessing. Somebody can say, I will give you this, this, if you can recite the Ten Commandments. Don't we do it to our children? The children now comes and recite the Ten Commandments. Then we bless them. To prepare them that spiritually also, they will be blessed by God. But when you bring it out to some adult, come and do competition. That even reminds me. I have a lot of um, sharings that have been there that have not shared. You know, if you want me to share, remind me more. Like the armor of God we should put on. That could have come in as part of the second uh, competition that we did. Nobody took part. And the one that uh, replied me through email was saying, I don't want to do it for money. You don't want to do something for money. Okay. The point I'm making is that as long as you are not the one that says, ah, I want to show you how much scriptures I want so that I can bless you. No. You are just being encouraged to do God's work. God's word to study God's word, to recite God's word. You are just being encouraged. As long as you don't wait that uh, unless somebody else is pushed you, you will not study God's word. So my point, let me round that part up, is that any skill God has given us is for one to use it for God's glory. And if people are blessed and bless us, good. So we are not expecting. That's why Apostle Paul Powell says, I know how to abound to enjoy what God gives me. And I know how to be content with the little I have. You must know both sides. So that as you are singing your song as a good news worshiper, just go expecting nothing. So if they bless you, give bonus. Meaning, have your own source of income. If your source of income is now Gospel, singing, gospel, oh, not good news, gospel. That's how you can sing partly body, partly flesh. The God that burns your brain, and then the other one, the whole world belongs to you. God says it's not the God of the world. Eh? If you study your Bible, the Second Corinthians, you know that the whole world belongs to Lucifer. But if you don't study the word of God, your flesh will just suggest to you what you think is right. You'll be singing out of your imagination of Jeremiah 14, 14. As we now, we are praying, God, I don't want all the doctrines, the lies of the church that came through Vatican. Uh, what we should be facing now is great civilization that can never be revealed. And some people are living in fear. Facing three days of darkness. Me, yeah, I'm facing millennial reign of peace on earth. The reason I'm here today is to answer some questions. Sajina, so, why are you calling from people witches? Did you not see the cannibalistic ritual that happened in the so called tent, whatever they were doing, of Wari Girl? And some people were there wondering should they eat, should they not eat, as they were about to eat. So, the decent socialists came in. With this and uh, this with God body, put him in a pot, put pepper. They were doing ritual there, and instead of supposed to drop their plate and run out, you still want to eat. They may be telling you a sign that what you are eating is human flesh meat. You still stay there. Some people, even when Lucifer come in front of them and do what he wants to do, they will still reason it away. I see some of those answers. I let it be maybe for a while and then I delete because I don't want to poison other minds. Other minds. Somebody come and say he's of God and he's telling a congregation that is under his own so-called overseeing that 
those of the body of Christ elsewhere will come and bow to RCCG members. And you don't say anything wrong with that. And somebody saying, he's like uh, saying, you shall be the head and not the tail. And let him say it. And God will decide who will truly be the head and not the tail. Because it's not by quotation or motivational speech. It is as you walk in the light of God's word and his Holy Spirit. For as many as are led by the Holy Spirit are the children of God. So today I came to show that I have natural hair. So I want you to know that there's a reason each strand of our hair are numbered by God. You that uh, barb this place, barb this place, and leave the front like that as a woman or as a man, like coughing. How many strands will they count to? And for what reason? Because even in the book of Leviticus, God tells men that are his priests in this timeline of 1 Peter 2 9. We are the chosen generation. We are priests to holy nation. A peculiar people to show for the praises of him who called us out of darkness out of churches in out of confusion to be his marvelous praise and to be his holy temple members do you not know that you are the temple of the living god first corinthians 3 16 first corinthians 6 19 second corinthians 6 16 meaning you are supposed to be looking up. You are down in the outer court here of body flesh. Look to the, you know, spirit bodies that God is using to help you as angels and saints. Look to the Holy Spirit above them. Look to the Holy of Holies where Abel Father dwells. The idea is looking for your help. Man, who should allow me to? Who should allow me to? So the reason I use the word witches were like around 12. I think two of them were just normal, you know, people. Around 10 of them, I just got the comment at one particular time and comment stopped. And they were saying almost the same thing. That they are wicked. They are filled with lust. They are, even the Lord told me to add uh, Revelation 3 something to who they are. They are wretched, pitiful, poor, blind, naked. Shut up, you know. You see, you are rich. God says you are poor. Are you going to give you the Holy One of Israel? Because all this is your panda that you used to turn yourself to Jezebel. When you leave them, it's not how you are going because there's no makeup. There's no make down. That's what you should really call it. That make yourself down to Jezebel. So there's no make down in heaven. You go to where Jezebel. Who inspired you is in her fire because she was thrown down and eaten by dogs. First King 930. And so God leaves you copying her with Revelation 22 15. All those who practice falsehood will be outside with the dogs as dogs feasted on Jezebel's body after she was thrown down. She so highly lifted up herself in her mind. That even literally she was thrown down. Immediately the dogs, unclean animals, she brought into the holy, holy place of Israel, fed on her. Before Jehu could say, go back, let's just honor her because from where she came from, she's supposed to be a child of a king, maybe body king. Before Jehu could say, just go and bury her. Just one say, ah, very is all this skull and bone. So the dogs are feasted on her. You bring a clean animal to the holy place, holy earth of the Messiah. Those dogs finish her. According to a prophecy, the prophecy had gone out from the Holy One of Israel. So some of you say you like dogs. I don't understand them. It's still an unclean animal. So yes, the lady that was angry, you married from Asa, Nigeria. I 
says we should be careful. Especially she should watch her skin because the woman of the scripture was even an elder sister to Moses, Miriam. She spoke against Moses and God answered against her because Moses had become a vessel in the hands of the Lord. Anybody the Lord uses, he don't speak against it. I know God has used me, you know, and he's still using me. He does speak against me. Ah, I won't even need to answer it, but for what God says, I should tell you. Wretched people, pitiful people, witches, eating a uh, flesh of human being. You want to speak against me? The Lord will answer you. Any one of you caught and you still dwell, you still like the lifestyle of 2 Timothy 3, 1 to 5. You are witches before God. That's why the verse 5 says to us, his children, stay away from them as much as possible. So yes, I've answered why witches. I've answered that one. Every hair of your head is numbered. Luke 12, 7. Matthew 10, 30. Let's read one of the verses. Matthew 10, 30. That says, And even the very ears of your head are all numbered. I'll show you my own um, head. Natural. So God counts what he put there that is natural. Because this DNA of the hair is very precious to God. Literally, if you are standing without your veil on your head, it is the highest point. So imagine God touching the highest point of your head. And your own, you won't even touch it if it's a fake hair, Brazil hair, Bundi Hindu, India hair. Why is it that you are not content with what God gave you naturally? And so the second person that I was looking for the video, that one was not even the likes of the one I was saying. You better go and learn from Miriam of the Bible before you come out with skin disease. She was torn leprous, was speaking against Moses. I know that this Moses is not as if the real Moses, but the mindset of body flesh that operated in the Moses of the Bible fell onto this person. I know some people have said it. In fact, the people I know more, so more that I came to a point that they must be sleeping still to an extent, even though they are waking. I'm a wonder. Their names, are you telling me that the names of my children from over 20 years that I named them? Are you saying that I had the knowledge I had now? No, I was still in the church. I didn't have the knowledge. Their names is just so, so perfect for who they are representing. The one that is Judah, the one that is Shalom, and the one that sounds like one of their sons, Zebulon. They represent the Prince of Peace, the Lord Judah himself, and when the Holy Spirit speaks to me, he uses them that uniquely. So when I'm trying to tell you, Moses, this, this, I know. The day I saw the person that is the mindset of David that fell, when I saw that uh, individual, it was confirmed. I was asking God because when I see some people, the Lord has made me to be more aware of the people around me as I stay set apart as much as possible and their names. So when I saw him glued to the TV, a young boy. I don't think he's more than 10 or around 10 years. Glued to, to the TV that I just knew that he is. God confirmed what I was talking. What are you watching, David? The mindset of anyone, anyone, listen, that God has used in the scriptures that you know, like Joseph, David, you know, Daniel, if they had a place where they kind of stumbled, like Moses, 
striking the mountain twice and waking the rock within the mountain. When God says to speak to the mountain the second time, not to strike. The first time he struck, that was good. But the second time he was supposed to speak. The Jeremiah of our time that spoke, spoke, spoke. Don't do sexual styles. You are still doing all those things. In fact, some of you should go and listen to what Apostle Paul says. We are such in the end time. Here's how God almost when he reveals that we are in the end time. It will appear as if those people are making up stories. No. Because imagine Apostle Paul that after Calvary was encountered by God Almighty. He was saying in 1 Corinthians 7, let those who are married begin to live as if they are not married because to him, it was like, even 2,000 years, it's like two minutes, two minutes. God can come anytime. Our mind cannot take fully. Even under the spirit, the mind cannot take fully all that is in the, you know, mind of the most high. So if the Lord said, go and preach, I'm coming soon. Some people will go like that and they will preach like God is coming soon as in, I can't even wait to build that house. So Apostle Paul was saying, you know, let me read it to you. What I mean, brothers and sisters, is that the time is short. From now on, those who have wives should live as if they do not. <laughs> so you that are down down your flesh, you are talking about sex. God even never intended us to have sex as children of the most high. If you have enjoyed intimacy, you will not like sex. People don't know the difference between these words. When the spiritual people are talking, their language is different from body flesh people. We say good news, body flesh, we say gospel. We say Holy Spirit, body flesh, you say Holy Ghost. We say intimacy, body flesh, you say sex. Because a rapist can have sex. You don't emotion or care for the woman. So you join yourself to what a rapist enjoy. Intimacy is divine. We say, earn good money. You go for mammon. Similarities do not mean you should join them together. Yes. God said you are a temple of the living God. You forget that you are the enslaved one pushed into the church to even take care of their babies many years ago. Now they have left you in the church. You will not leave. They have gone underground waiting for Revelation 6, 12 to 17 mountain to fall on them. You are there in church. And God is saying, come out from among them. Second Corinthians 6. 14 to 18. So God has said it to trees. You know, prophet and apostle Paul. Let those who are wives live as though they do not. And that's not to say neglect. That means your sex is excess. You didn't pay attention to this part to renew your mind. Love. To have the fruit of the spirit, gift of the spirit operating your heart and life. You are there paying attention to organs, physical organs. No wonder God is even showing that the time of your sex, sex, sex is coming to an end. Many men now impotent. Many men, the ones that have given birth before, or they push other people's baby on you. You think you were active before? As you gallivant yourself all over, impotence of Lucifer has fallen on many men. So that whether you like it or not, you are living like those who don't have wives, even when you have one. The very God has said in Romans 12 1 to 2, present your bodies unto God. So, God looks at body, but body is a holy one. Because anyone that is not holy, 
by default, you will not see the Lord. Oh, Jewel and Shao, Colleri, oh, Goran, Mima, 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 Sala du Mare, oh, Jewel and Shao, Colleri, oh, Goran. When Mary was a soul body, she's soul, she's body. When her soul was lifted up at Calvary, she too will feel, ah, oh, I feel so weak. And she will feel that it's because of what her son, Yeshua, has suffered with eternal lashes. She didn't know that she herself, she's still in want. Her soul has been lifted up. And so the Lord had to look down on her and see that she has now become the woman. A spirit vessel can carry the spirit, the soul, and even the spirit soul. It's almost like a container. This container will not change from being a container. Whether you put, you know, something in it or not, it still remains. So, it is about from your foot will know whether it's the Holy Spirit in you, or if you behave like Second Timothy 3, 1 to 5, you know that, ah, Lucifer has fallen on, on this one. So, let me round it up. Stop criticizing those who are naturally by here. Here was what I was even believing that she's going to keep her here, natural, concerning Mary Marie Bliss. That God put his mercy upon Mary. And I know that she's the Mary of this for the first time. In summary, I came to talk against those perhaps foolish virgins who were criticizing, you know, Marie, wise bliss, and invariably criticizing the standard of God's holiness and modesty. They need to repent. And also, gospel singers should know that God gave them their voice not to commercialize it but to use it for his glory to worship him and bring the presence of god into the midst of wherever they are if people choose to bless them then that's it but they shouldn't ask for money shouldn't. many friendship today has finished many people's destiny first things 11 the lord told king solomon not to marry outside Israel and Egypt. Nevertheless, the word of God says, his heart clung unto those women of Moab, of Esau, of Edom, of Sidon, of all these people. And he ended up with a thousand women. So, these ones that we see all of you, some of you, I should say, on YouTube, Oh, God said I should marry him. And it's in the marriage. Confusion restarted. Which God told you? It must be small G God of 2 Corinthians 4.4. 4. The one that the whole world belongs to. We are in the world. We are not of the world. We are of the earth. The earth is Jacob Israel. The world is from Esau down. To Lucifer. They are the world that is in the world. If you want to understand it, the time Israel was in Egypt and the time Egypt was in Egypt. Who were the real Egypt? They were the ones that suffered the ten plagues. But Israel in Egypt, obeying the instruction of God through Moses to them, did not suffer any ten plagues. And that's why I told the sister who wanted to know. Are you saying those who are dreaming three days of darkness are not dreaming it? You can dream whatever. Look at a girl that the uncle even made that dream of her mother being a witch. Only for the uncle to now fall under the exposing of a man of God. And confess he's the one that did it, he's the one that killed their father, he's the one that turned the daughter against the mother. So, all the dream the girl has been having, 
Tell him through the demon that I pray through the demon. Call the uncle. Do you dream something? Why are you holding to your dream when it's not from God? Even the dream that is from God is supposed to be for our humility, our soberness. Look at the dreamer, Joseph. He dreamed that he is going to be raised up at the end of his life. That his brothers even come and bow to him. But as his dream was a high dream, he was going down from pit to being a, a palace slave or worker to be roping into a lie because he wouldn't have sex with a potiphar's wife. See them all over the internet calling themselves sugar mamas, looking for young boys who are looking for just a means to walk. So let us do good that God wants us to do with every opportunity we see. There's nobody on earth that will not go through trials and testing of James 1, 1 to 4. Except they are not children of God heading for heaven. So don't let somebody come and make you think you are the only one going through this. See what we are going through. No. It's both you know Side your experience, but when you stay where God wants you to stay, set up a holy, fruitful, busy for Him, then you will see the joy of being in the Lord. The joy of the Lord is been my strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. God bless you for listening. Amen.